Secrets by 19 p.m. on the 17th of February, 2013. We lost the degree. It is 19 degrees out. All right. To the church in Sim Samarna. To the angel of the church of Sim Samarna, right. These are the words of him who is first and the last who died and came to life again. Nine, I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know the slander of those who say you are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. 11. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. Revelations 2.10 Remember, we're in the New International Version, copyright 1984. All rights reserved. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prisons to test you, and you will suffer persecutions for ten days. Be faithful, even to the point of death, meaning take the chip, you know, the mark of the beast, or beheading, get beheaded, do not take the mark of the beast. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. All right, we got cross references. Psalms 31:23. Love the Lord, all His saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but the proud He pays back in full. Daniel chapter 1 verse 12. Please test your servants for ten days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat, vegetables to eat, and water to drink. Daniel chapter 1, verse 14. So he agreed to this and tested them for 10 days. 1 Corinthians 9, 25. Everyone who completes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But well, we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Revelations 2.13 I know where you live, where Satan has his throne, yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Revelations 3.10 since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. Revelation 3.11 I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Don't let people talk you into betraying who you really are. Let people talk. It's only words. You know the truth, right? You know who you really are. Let them write their stuff. What does it matter what you write? It doesn't mean nothing to me. Right? Write down all you want. I know what's in here. I know who I am. He knows who I am. That's all that really matters, guys. I don't give a rest. We're in. I don't give a mercibials or mercibials. You know what? I, I don't give a fleas. 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 Ass. 
what you write about me. Because it doesn't matter what you say about me. The only thing that matters, my brothers and sisters, is what God thinks and says about me. That's it. I could care less what you guys say. Write all you want. As I sit here and laugh. Because it doesn't bother me. One little tiny molecule bit. Bless you. May God bless you. I pray for you. Dear Lord, bless them as they're sitting there writing slander right now. Bless them. Bless that blonde female who's thinking about my double chin. Bless you. Revelations 3.11 I am coming soon. Hold to what you have so that no one, no one, no one, none of you will take my crown. What's my time? Oh yeah, I got time. Revelations 12, 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Okay, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. By Jesus dying on the cross, his blood is why we overcame our sins. And our word is our repentance. Testimony, repentance. They did not love their lives. You know, stuff that we have. All this. Well, what? My computer is the only thing I really have. Um, so much as they shrink from death. I'm ready for it. Come on, dear Lord, please. Please. Whenever you are ready, please come so that we may go. Revelations 13, 14. Because of the signs he has given power to do on behalf of the first beast, he deceived the inhabitants of the earth. He ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast, who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. Revelation 17:14. They will make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will overcome them because He is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and with Him He will be called chosen and faithful followers. Amen. What did you decide? Are you making me all? Did you get more pop? Can I have one? Sorry. And will you rinse this off really, really good? Because I don't dare put nothing. Yes, I like that. Thank you. That one's that's cool. Thank you. Alright. I, I will reread that one. Thanks, love. Oh. Sweet. Good, because I'm hungry. Sweet. Revelation 17, 14. They will make war against the Lamb. Meaning all these uh, people that are, you know, going to worship the false Christ, the false Messiah, the Antichrist, Satan, 
Beelzebub, Lucifer, the devil. <coughs> you know, you know, the, you know, he's a flippin' fallen angel. He ain't Jack Diddley squat. He ain't nothing. He's a flippin' fallen angel. People are gonna worship that. He ain't worth it. Gonna worship somebody. Worship somebody who's got power. Worship God. He's the creator of everything. He did everything. Gonna worship Satan. The worship Satan. Satan ain't shit. Satan, Satan's ass is about to be whooped in a matter of one hour. Jesus is coming. Come down here and bam. Gone, and then all you guys, Satan worshippers, are going to be looking like, oh, damn, and then bam, you guys are going to be gone too. And that's the way it's going to be. And you guys need to repent, get right with God. I think I'm joking. Peace we be with you, my brothers and sisters. God's on his way. He's not playing. He he's he's about ready to come in, pick up his first pack of he's about to pick up the holy brides and that and you know, the good ones, and take them, and then the rest is about to stick around for seven years. You ready for that? And, um, you know that when God comes this first time, you know, the kids are gone. When the kids are gone, you guys know that. And then this false messiah comes. It ain't no, uh, angels or aliens or nothing like that that took the kids. It was God. Just remember that. So all you people that's left here after, you know, the first the pre pre uh pre trip rapture. Yeah, when God comes and takes up all the dead people and all the children and all his brides in that and all the rest are when everybody else is that wasn't pure enough that wasn't ready that didn't listen to his words and that that has to go through the tribulations and then you know only 144,000 make it through that alive the rest gets their heads cut off because they don't choose to do the chips so you know, not many get accepted when it comes time for the bride and gets that free pass and doesn't have to deal with the seven or seven years of the Antichrist, right? Yeah, that's what we're all trying for right now. But once the children are gone, that means that the Antichrist is about to come and we got seven years of hell. So... If you ever wake up, some people are missing, and the, all the kids are gone. All the kids are gone. If you were pregnant, and then poof, no, you're not. Yeah, see, God came, and yeah, seven years of hell is about to begin, my brothers and sisters. All right, I love you guys. I shall be back. Peace be with you.